ladies and gentlemen, let me to welcome on behalf of the European Parliament uh, and the delegation for Afghanistan to our conference on Afghanistan, future trajectories for the region. My name is Petr Sushtevichus, I am the head of the European Parliament's delegation for Afghanistan. This is my second term. I have seen better times <laughs> in my business dealing with Afghanistan, but uh, I will uh, never step down, I mean, of, uh, of uh, situations and uh, engagement. doesn't matter what it is, what the situation is in Afghanistan, since we have a commitment for close and I hope uh, more in future effective engagement with Afghanistan. The situation in Afghanistan remains indeed uh, very difficult with uh, every time more and more challenges at national, regional and even global level. Taliban continues to impose uh, growingly stricter policy, completely disregarding former achievements we've been proud of for two decades and completely ignoring uh, women and girls' rights in particular, freedoms of expression and uh, participation in public life. I would uh, even uh, call it as a growing of fairy terrorism tendency of Taliban in domestic policies. There are fewer and fewer who expect any positive change from Taliban, and namely, rightly so. Although in the beginning we were seeing uh, some group of uh, experts more positively exposed. At the moment, we're facing uh, incoming radicalization of Taliban, uh, aside with uh, worsening humanitarian situation and growing human rights crisis. Um, situation in Afghanistan might be described uh, as <coughs> following tendencies or facts. I would uh, really risk to pronounce as former partners of Afghanistan and European Union was a very actively engaged we have to admit that our influence remains limited and probably more to see in years. Probably except uh, humanitarian and special assistance we are still able to provide through international uh, forum. Um, so we act mainly from outside. Our presence in Kabul is very, very limited. And I believe uh, it will remain so. Secondly, self-isolation tendencies of Afghanistan, uh, which we observe for the time of being, might uh, grow on. And um, maybe it's one of the tasks of Taliban to isolate Afghanistan from outside world. And thirdly, we see, again, very dynamic situation uh, region-wise. For example, unlike before, in Central Asia, which is an immediate neighbor of Afghanistan, and it's a, it's a vast region made of different countries and sometimes cultures and political experience, the the region of Central Asia is under major political and security pressure. We see in one or another country some uh, things which we didn't see for a long time. To quote Kazakhstan, recently Uzbekistan. And we might uh, ask a question, I mean, what we should uh, wait for next to come. Iran, 
is likely to become more cooperative when it comes to relations with Afghanistan and our engagement in Afghanistan. Um, there are two maybe partners, China, which role I I would call probably on increase, and um, Russia's role probably to decrease because of different considerations and different uh, regional events maybe in the Eastern Europe and war against Ukraine because of resources, attention, and maybe even interest. With this background, ladies and gentlemen, I'm very happy to start our conference, which is organized in great cooperation with European Foundation for <coughs> South Asian Studies, and I appreciate uh, this uh, organization involvement. So we need more and more discussions debates to better understand, to share our common view, and to agree on, uh, uh, on actions we have to pursue. Um, and uh, it is my great pleasure as well, I mean, to note that uh, we have a uh, new ambassador to Afghanistan, Ambassador von Brandt, who will share his vision on, uh, on the situation. It's very important. I mean, we, I have to admit, uh, remain in very close and fruitful cooperation on the EU level among the different institutions like the European Parliament Commission and the External Action Service as well as with the member states. And um, I thank you for your interest in our conference and I'm looking forward uh, for our uh, indeed uh, constructive uh, exchange and discussions we are going to have for two hours of today. Thank you.